this will be probably the last video on the bug back seat and the other videos I showed how to make a bug back this one I'm simply going to show um, how to use it um, so we take a bunch of tubes um, in the field each one of these will be a sample we delegate one tube to um, match up with one plant species at one site. So you put the cartridge in, uh, you take the um, top off, and then you vacuum. And then once you're done vacuuming, uh, you put the, um, uh, the tube back on, pull the canister out, and then we typically, we either have a piece of paper in here along the side so it doesn't uh, prevent suction, um, designating what the plant is. You can put a flower from the plant if you want um, to tell you what the plant was. You can write it on the outside of the tube, but then after that you put it in, we typically either use a, um, something that's very portable that we put ice in, keep it cool, um, or very, very cold, <clears throat> uh, until we get back to the car and then we freeze the samples. Um, and then you simply just pick up another tube, uh, load it up, and go for another uh, plant species. So they, these are loud, but it, the, the noise seems to have no effect on the um, insects. The, your movement has much more impact on whether the insect flies away or not. So if you're just slow, steady, deliberate, um, most things from flies to butterflies to bees, um, uh, you can easily uh, catch. Now, uh, we cut these uh, primary tubes into um, two foot sections or a foot and a half long. The longest I've made, and the nice thing about these Ryobi units is you can make um, the tube as long as you want. So we, the longest I buy these tubes in is um, six foot lengths. And I try to, with, with a six foot length, the suction is still really, really strong. So you can suck insects off of um, flowering trees, at least the lower branches, um, with a unit um, this small. And that is it for how to use the bug pack.